Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got Resurrection Remix version 5.5.4 for Galaxy S3 so stay tuned for that. So guys, uh, Resurrection Remix, it was one of the first ROMs to bring Lollipop to our S3 and it has got a lot of features. It was one of my favorite ROMs the way in the days when Lollipop was, the, was starting out on our device. And yeah, it has evolved a lot. I mean, it's still got its uh, stuff. It is really working. So I'll be starting with this now. Um, so first of all what you would see here is the lock screen so it is a standard lollipop lock screen it's nothing special it's really cool it does work out so you have shortcuts and you can swipe up for the um for unlocking your device it really does work out so yeah so as you can see here is this is the standard uh, launcher which is normal one uh, it is a lollipop launcher it's nothing special uh, so yeah uh, let's get into the settings now and see what you so I have a <laughs> I have a message here so I, it is standard CM feature so you can read that let's go to settings and see what all are available so you can see these all are available settings let's go to about phone page and you can see it is resurrection remix uh, 5.5.4 now everything about the ROM you can have change log uh, you can go to their website, donate, uh, Google Plus page, who all are the developers, etc, etc. You can actually uh, read all of that from here, so it is available. Uh, it is Android 5.1.1, so it is Lollipop, and you can actually do whatever you want with it, so I'm not going to go inside that, so yeah. You can also do that. This is the kernel version. It is Archi kernel based, so it is one of the best kernels available for S3, so you have... You don't have to worry about anything. So S Linux is enforced. Everything is good. So you can use that. So yeah, it does. It does also have an update option. So it will look for. It is through OTA Center, uh, but it is going to download the whole ROM rather than a Delta update. So yeah, this is the latest version. So you don't have to worry about anything. So that's really cool. Resurrection Remix really was a ROM which brought a lot of features to the Lollipop scene. So let's get into the features now. It and it does have a lot of them. Uh, configurations now. First of all, it's personalized. Uh, you can see status bar options. Status bar option include uh, brightness control, which is swiping the uh, status bar. But with the uh, uh, the auto brightness enabled, it won't work. So it does that. Uh, show notification count. Task manager. Task manager is really nice. I really like this feature because it will give you task manager option on your status bar, which is really cool. You can kill everything there, so that is really nice. Uh, show notification count all that show resurrection remix logo which is this one and also you can change the color of it to whatever you want so that is also pretty neat you can see it is red now so you can have that headset icon if you connect a headphone that is it uh, temperature I have actually enabled this but I really don't know where the temperature shows um, but it is supposed to be an option here uh, I really don't know where so yeah it's it's just there quick pull down so you do have a quick pull down left or right for the notification uh, quick settings rather than uh, the go to the notifications you have smart pull down option which is dismissible and persistent notification so you can have that status bug reading in the status bar after unlocking the device so you can actually have something enabled there so if you unlock the device it will actually show you a sort of a greeting as you can see there so you can actually have that you can uh, customize that to something like hello or welcome or affirmative or something like that be quirky with it so yeah you can have that also it does have a timeout function so how much time the greeting will be shown also can be controlled to a maximum of 10,000 milliseconds so yeah that's 10 seconds I guess so yeah uh, clock and date options in the, on the uh, locks on the status bar. You can actually have that. You have alignment, center clock, or left clock. You can enable that. Um, so here is what I really like. Uh, this is the day of the week indicator and with AM PM indicator on the other side. So that's really nice. You do also have a date style, which you can have uh, in uh, uppercase or lowercase, and also date format, which you can have something long or even custom Java format. So you can actually have that. So that is really cool. Um, what else do we have now in the battery status style you can have it in all of these options which is standard with any CM ROM so it's nothing special but hey it's there uh, battery percentage you can have it inside or outside or whatever you want it is really nice hide carrier label 
you can actually have that it will give you a uh, system ui reset but it will work um, if you turn it off it will uh, enable your i uh, your carrier label in here so yeah it will be available with this you can also customize your carrier label uh, or, uh, by actually giving a something else here so it will be tj now tg now so yeah you can have that also N uh, network traffic indicator is also working you can enable that and it will show arrows with the amount of traffic going through so it's also available in the miscellaneous options you have a lot okay now way clock blocker you can see that way clock is an issue in this so uh, way clock blocker is a welcome change you can enable that and actually uh, disable whatever is wake clock uh, whatever causes wake clock and you can disable that but my suggestion do not use this one for that use an app called amplify which I personally use it's a very very useful feature and if you donate you can actually customize that and if you know what you're doing you can actually get a lot of battery life from your phone so that is really nice so yeah SLinux switch option so you it is in enforcing mode as few apps required to be in enforcing mode you can also disable that to be permissive so you can actually toggle between that without a third party app so that is really cool so you do have that in the animation section you have toast animation you can select a bunch of animation in that list view animation which is a scrolling animation uh, system animation is the entire one you can customize that also over over scrolling effect which is about similar uh, whatever effect you're seeing there you can change that to uh, maybe bounce and glow whatever so that is really really nice you can have that um, the gesture controls now this is something which i really like especially the gesture anywhere i'll get to that in the pi controls you do have pi control this is sort of the slim pi standard so it will avail it is available you can customize everything here and actually use it for your advantage it is really useful it does work out i mean uh if you really need speed and if you want to launch something fast there's no better way to use than the pie control so it is really nice gesture anywhere okay if you have seen any of my videos i have praised gesture anywhere to be a lifesaver in a lot of situations and it remains true to this day so i'm not going to blab too much about that so yeah three finger gesture swipe three finger to screenshot so i really don't know where or how it is there it is done but three finger gesture should be there so it is it, it has just taken a screenshot so you this also available so that's really nice app sidebar and app uh, circle bar are both available you can actually get that i will show you guys what this is uh so yeah this is the app sidebar you can enable apps into that you can put apps into it and uh, then it will work it should work i personally do not use it because i really don't see the reason for that if you're using gesture anywhere i guess that is enough for you uh, app circle bar is also really good i mean it does work out uh, i'll show you guys that it does give you a circle of apps which is your favorite ones which you can use anytime anywhere so that is really nice too uh what else do we have clear all buttons now in the recent menu you can see the clear all buttons right now is here you can actually change the uh, change the location uh, you can even delete that altogether if you want the old old school swipe uh, you can also have memory bar in the status bar which will show how much free memory you have uh, which is good i mean i'm not really a big fan of that clear all task uh, you, here it is you can actually change it to anywhere you can go to uh, top center left top left uh, i would uh, suggest top center because it gives uh, a very very difficult position there's also bottom center which i would be preferring i prefer bottom center because it looks nice so yeah now it also has an option to clear all tasks or just uh, leave the foreground task and clear everything else so that is also really nice i normally keep it enabled so yeah widget now in the widget option this is the uh, normal c clock from cyanogen mod so you have all these options available this is a widget you can use on your lock screen and all that so it's really nice in the hardware section you do have vibration intensity which uh, i guess is not accessible from here you may need to go to sound option for that yeah it does give you a force close issue i will get to that later in the lock screen option you can actually change the shortcuts which are there on the lock screen to be anything else this is the slim uh, uh, shortcuts which will come on the center bars that is really nice i will be putting up two of them uh, now if i go back there there you have it there are two shortcuts which i really might use so i can click that i can long press that and it will go to that so that is available so that is really nice 
uh, quick sh quick shortcuts now the bottom shortcuts these are this was the one I was talking about you can actually change even these I mean who uses call function in their phone uh, right now so you can change it to something else like whatsapp or something like that so that's really nice uh, long press icon to sleep you can uh, long press on the exploration area and it will go back to sleep so that is also really nice double tap to sleep is also awesome because I really use that uh, it will work out notification drawer so notification drawer is a good feature I mean it does have a lot now it does show weather but I was unable to get any weather notification yet I'm not sure if it's working or if it's a bug or if it's uh, just my location uh, or I couldn't get it to work in the tiles now it does have a lot of tiles as you can see it's a huge endless list so you can read any of them slim floats are awesome slim shortcuts are awesome i really like that pi you can enable disable pi notifications heads up bar navigation bar enable disable is here so yeah it's really nice it in the uh notification also so that's really nice compass one of my favorite features so it's also there battery saver is enabled battery mode is enabled uh ambient display is also there so yeah it does work out there are a lot of options here so yeah slim actions you can actually enable slim action uh, select what all slim actions are available you can long press to launch it you can click it once to cycle through various ones so now show four tiles per row you can enable four tiles so that you will have four tiles also there is an option to in, uh, enlarge the first two ones if you don't if you don't really like uh, two of them enlarged you want everything small you can have that also so eh, it's good show brightness slider you can disable that and enable the status bar slider which is what i do which is what i like so yeah it's also there advanced location settings clicking the location settings will enable it to it will enlarge it and go into another setting so that is really nice now buttons so buttons are available you can actually uh, disable navigation nav bar buttons from here and uh, yeah that is really nice i mean I, i'm not really sure why it is but uh, this thing does not work I mean the backlight here does not work it is something to do with the flashing method I'm not sure why uh, my flashing was bad or something so it is enabled for five seconds but it doesn't really work um, I'm not really sure why the backlight is not working on the button so yeah this is actually a standard one so then there's nothing special to talk about uh, rather than slim dim so yeah these are the options which you can avail which are available for you guys so it's 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 a standard one so there are a lot of options there too so I guess that much is it in the configuration option in the personalization of resurrection remix it also has a theme chooser which is really 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 awesome I mean uh, yeah uh, this is a standard CM feature it's nothing special but the second theme which comes with the ROM is dark I mean it changes everything it really does uh, the boot animation is special I mean I really like the boot animation in this as you can see this is the boot animation for the second second theme and the one which comes with this one is also not bad the boot animation of this ROM in build is also really nice I will be showing you guys that uh, soon it doesn't have the TRDS option which is the real dark slim uh, that is why there is a theme there's a black theme for it so it's also available it's a really nice one rest of the options are pretty mundane it's uh, whatever you would expect from any other Samsung uh, any other AOSP ROM so it's nothing special it does work out though so yeah it's really nice uh, here there is a notification light when device is locked has some notification enabled or disabled app notifications you can select what all uh, device uh, go goes for that uh, launch music app all of these are available you can actually see this all are good it does have volume step which is something which I really have come to like because you it gives you final controls of everything um, yeah so I guess that much is it in the special settings of uh, resurrection remix now it also has super Sue, which is integrated with this rom rather than another app so that's also nice i mean i guess it's good now regarding the battle life as you can see it is already showing 15 percent uh it is already showing it is low battery that is because uh well the rom for me at least is not giving me a very good battery life i don't know if this issue is for everyone but I am actually having a lot of issues with this battery life uh, I'm not able to get a very good battery life with it so yeah uh, screen on time for me was uh, just just under maybe 
one hour i don't know why that is but it is not giving me a very good battery life this dip here i don't know why this dip was because i was not doing anything uh, and also the wake lock issue there are a lot of wake locks here uh, in the time where when it was not working my I, I my phone wasn't even awake at these times so and i don't know why this is happening so yeah so i guess that much is it in the stuff uh, i'll show you guys the end to the benchmark score which is uh here so there you have it that is the n to benchmark score well sorry for not having the full uh this one but here is the score that is 26 191 uh it is good enough but uh well yeah it is good enough so with all these features though it is really good enough so yeah it's really nice so let me show you guys the uh boot animation of this rom which is really cool it also has all these this is not even three boot animations it's, it boot uh, boot reboot locations these are like five so that's really nice so here is the boot animation for Resurrection Remix, which is really cool uh, if you think about it. So yeah. So I guess that much is it about the ROM. There's nothing much to see about it. Uh, the apps are simple. Uh, these are uh, what's bundled with Cyanogen mod, so you have all of that. I guess that much is it. Uh, in the conclusion, though, this ROM is a good ROM for people who want the features, but I kind of don't understand why the battery is so low i don't know if it's something to do with my stuff i mean uh, if, if it's just for me or for everyone else the battery was kind of non-performing for me so yeah i guess that much is it about the video hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time